Hey everyone, so I did receive this U-Part wig for my personal review from a company named Hair Spells. And this is actually my first U-Part wig, so if you guys would like to see a review and demo, please stay tuned. So here's the packaging that it comes in. Very cute, pink, feminine. It says Hair Spells on the front. And the hair that I got, it was the 2x4 inch, 130 density, Brazilian kinky straight U-Part wig. And it is in 18 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking it out of the package just where you can see what it looks like straight out the box. It's long and thick and it does have a bend in it but that's only because it's been in the package. Of course you can get rid of that by washing it. It has three clips around the U-part area, two combs that go on the side of your head, one comb in the back and it also has an adjustable waist just in case you need to make it tighter or looser. I also like how it has hair coming out on the side just in case you'd like to pull your hair back. Now this is my first time with a U-part wig so I'm basically just going to cut the lace out from around the middle section and this is what it looks like. Then I'm going to go ahead and just comb it out really good, make sure there's no tangles in it. So I've already separated out the top middle section of my hair that I want to be out and I actually would have rather preferred a side part but since this is my first time doing this I just went ahead and did the hair in the middle because I didn't want the wig to look wopsided like if I were to put the wig over to the left or to the right. So I just went ahead and put the wig right in the middle like how it's traditionally worn. After I secured the wig around my hair at the top, I'm just securing the wig now with the combs on both sides of my head. It took me a little longer to get them in the way I wanted it, but I just wanted to make sure that the wig was not going to move throughout the day. So this is how the wig looks on my head right here. It's very pretty, very thick and long. Um, it definitely is thicker than wigs that I'm used to. It has a higher density. This hair will make sure that no matter what hairstyle that you do, it's going to be big and voluminous. So I had fun playing with the hair, just getting used to it being on my head before I got ready to style it. And in a few seconds, you're going to see that I'm going to be actually curling my hair today. I'm going to be using an automatic hair curler. And I'll make sure to put the link to that down in the description box. If I can't find the exact link, then I'll make sure to put one very similar to it. But this is the Irresistible Me um, hair curler that I'm going to be using to curl the U-Part wig today. So the reason I chose to use this is because it is super, super easy to use. All you do is clamp your hair. It brings your hair into the chamber, curls it, and then it beeps and you release it. You can tell the machine how long you want the hair to stay in there. It's preset times and also the temperature of it. You can preset that as well. And that'll determine if you'll get a curly curl or more of a looser curl. So I went for more of a, like a traditional regular type of curl. I think I had the temperature on 450 and then I had the curler set at 8 seconds per curl. So as you can see, these curls are very, very pretty. They're coming out very nice and uniform. And I'm basically going to do this around my entire head. So as you can see, the hair reacts really well to heat. Um, and this is high heat that I'm using right here. And it also holds a really pretty curl. So I'm just really overall pleased with this hair. Make sure to check out the company's website for other wigs that you may be interested in. I also have the direct link to this wig right here down in the description box. And I also have a coupon code if you use the word sparkle you can get ten dollars off of an order of fifty dollars or more so for the remainder of the video i'll be curling the wig and then i'm going to finally make it to the top of my head and curl my own hair and i'm going to blend it together so you guys can see how well that my hair blended with this wig but i'm basically going to let you guys enjoy the video and watch it from here on out because it's pretty self-explanatory and then at the very end of the video i had actually went to work and I'm going to show you how it looks pulled back away from my face because I kind of felt like it was too much for me being at work. Like this is an awesome hairstyle like if I was going out or if I was just doing everyday things but for work it was a bit um, too voluminous. So I actually pulled it back in a ponytail which you'll see that at the very end of the video. So make sure you guys thumbs this video up if you liked it so far and also stay tuned to the end so you can see the final results. And as 
as I stated, I'm going to let you guys finish enjoying the video from here on out. If you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know.